Person product moment correlation coefficient sample problem number two. A table shows time spent playing computer games and the scores of these learners got in math tests. Solve the person product moment correlation coefficient R. Okay, so meron tayong variable, dalawang variable dito. Okay, ang una nating variable is yung time spent playing. Just palawang variable natin is yung raw score nila doon sa makukuha nila doon sa isang math test. So, ito yung table na, na, na sinasabi sa atin ng problem. Okay? X represent number of hours. Siguro ang unit of measurement natin dito is hours pa rin. Okay? So, that means 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, and 6 hours. Yung Y naman represent the raw score nila doon sa kanilang math test. Okay? That is for 1 hour, 30. For 2 hours, 25. For 3 hours, 25. For 4 hours, 10. For 5 hours, 15. At saka sa 6 hours, 5. So, starting natin siyang computein. Tatabilate natin siya. Yung mga yellow po dito na figures is galing lahat yun dun sa problem. Kasi given na sila. Okay? So, una natin gagawin is we have to find for the summation of x. Okay, so summation of x, that means i-add natin lahat ng value ng x. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 21. Next is yung summation of y. So that is 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 25 plus 35 is equal to 110. So ang susunod naman dito is yung column ng product of x and y. So we have to multiply Lahat ng mga nandito sa x, tsaka lahat ng nandito sa y respectively. So, that is 1 times 5, 2 times 10, 3 times 15, 4 times 15, 5 times 25, 6 times 35. Okay. So, tandaan natin, yung mga x na nandito is galing lahat dito. Tsaka yung mga y na yung mga y na kakailanganin natin is lahat magagaling dito. So, that is 1 times 30 is equal to 30, 2 times 25 is equal to 50, 3 times 25 is equal to 75, 4 times 10 is equal to 40, 5 times 15 is equal to 75, 6 times 5 is equal to 30. So, we have the summation of x, y. So, i-add lang daw natin lahat ng mga product nila, which is 30 plus 50 plus 75 plus 40 plus 75 plus 30 is equal to 300. So, next is yung x squared. So, saan magagaling yung mga value ng x natin? Lahat yon magagaling dito. Okay? So, that is 1 squared is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. 3 squared is equal to 9. 4 squared is equal to 16. 5 squared is equal to 25. 6 squared is equal to 36. So, the summation of x squared, i-add daw natin lahat ng mga squared nila. So, that is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 is equal to 91. Last column natin is yung y squared. So, saan ulit kukunin yung mga value ng y? Dito lahat sa column na ito. So, that is 30, 25, 25, 10, 15, and 5. I-square natin sila isa-isa. So, that is 30 squared is equal to 900. 25 squared is 625. 25 squared is equal to 625, 10 squared is equal to 100, 15 squared is equal to 225, 5 squared is equal to 25. So, ang ating summation of y is kailangan i-add now natin lahat ng mga squared nila. So, that is 900 plus 625 plus 625 plus 100 plus 225 plus 25 is equal to 2,500. So, ang ating y of y squared is equal to 2,500. So, lahat yun kakailanganin natin para makumpit natin yung ating R value. Kasi lahat yun kukunin natin yung data. Okay? So, yung halimbawa yung N natin is 6. Yung summation of XY natin is 300. Remember po lahat po yung mga given mga kailangan nating values. Lahat po manggagaling dito sa ating table. Okay? So, that means ang ating R value sa negative 0.92. So, balikan natin yung table. Okay, saan ba nakahanap yung negative 0.92? So, nasa pagitan siya ng 0.71 at 0.99. So, that means it is strongly negative correlation. Okay, so ang ating R value na 
negative 0.92 means strong negative correlation.